I'm Joshua Ross. The cameraman is me, Joe. Hi. And today we are going to do an awesome review. We got this thing from B and H 420, the official pop holiday, Ninth Avenue, New York City, New York, one zero 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 one. Caution: If this tape is broken or covered, check for hidden damage and concealed loss, and consult your local police department. Is what it says. Now let's cut this open with a a knife, carbonite knife. Um, it's Camilla's knife. I uh, Joe and I did a review on this a long time ago. Let's be very gentle with this. It's gonna be a surprise what's inside this box. I mean, it's not like anyone reads the title of videos anymore. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Mm. <laughs> so if you haven't read the title of the video and you I don't know how you're watching, if it's just on autoplay, you can't damage this otherwise they won't take it back or you have to find a box of similar shape and length. Oh, finger that tape just like my non-existent girlfriend. So um holy shit! Whoa! That is a lot of packing penis put peanuts. So uh, let's take this out. Oh my god! It is the DJI Phantom Drone. Whoever sent this to us for $475 free shipping is amazing. Thank you wow. for that. Um, so, yes, very, very impressive. Uh, a few things before we get on to the actual review is second time I've used B&H website, second time I've had issues, second time they've actually resolved it. Um, I ordered this one and it was supposed to be or within 15 hours you get next day shipping or something like that expedited shipping and it was supposed to come today and it ended up saying oh it's the seven so i talked to their live chat very professional live chat and she said oh yeah it got caught up in the verification process blah blah all this other good stuff that no one really gives a crap about and i was like thank you i appreciate it she gave me the email to the manager i emailed him within two minutes got a phone call resolved it i'll give you free next day shipping well bam here it is the next day the way it was supposed to originally be so ah uh, here it is, the DJ Phantom. DJ Phantom. Um, they use these on movies, sports games, for fun, a stock video. Joe, do you know anything else they use it for? Um, yeah, well, yeah, stock video. If you want to get some cinema shots for anything, for your film, for whatever, it uh, gets all your camera quality needs, Your yeah, whatever you want. It's good. Okay. You can do following shots, whatever you want. Yeah. All right. Um, so, yeah, those are some examples that we threw out. It has live Wi-Fi enabled HD view, three axis stabilizing camera gimbal, not Scott Gimbal from The Walking Dead, and GPS tracking. It uses satellites as well. It's pretty heavy. You can do this with, uh, Joe, read those off if you can see them. Well, uh, Discover Flight, easy, easy to use, intelligent flying camera, smart control system for stable automatic flight, three axis stabilization, gimbal for smooth, clear footage, DJI, intelligent flight battery for 25 minutes of flight time, which isn't bad, GPS enabled return to home and position holding, which is awesome and cool, lightweight, compact, easy to carry, powerful DJI pilot app for expanded controls and functions, complete, fully integrated system. Dedicated remote controller with built-in Wi-Fi range extender. The extended range is 3,200 feet, 1 kilometer. FCC, 1,600 feet, 500 meters uh, CE. Live 720p HD view as you fly via built-in Wi-Fi. Integrated 2.7K video, 12 megapixel photo camera, highly efficient propulsion system, and motors. And you can also uh, get the apps on the Apple Store. Google Play, it's compatible with iMac and Final Cut Pro X. You can live stream to YouTube and the DJI Phantom app, which Joe mentioned earlier. So that's basically it. That's the box, DJI. Cool. Nice embroidery, really awesome. Yeah, uh, so let's get to the meat and bone of this puppy. And now uh, we have the box open. This, as Joe will tell you, is that's the uh, service value, the instruction man. It's basically a little bit of a manual. Not really the main manual is right there, but that just that just shows you all the conditions. That little paper right there, what you do, um, service process, how to sign up, and do all the good stuff because you gotta take care of it as it as it says right there. DJI care, keep lying. Yep. 
And now here we go for the reveal. And drum roll. I just broke it. Oh no. Dang it. Here we go. Oh my god, I'm excited. I've never owned a drone of this caliber before and Oh my gosh! Wow! Wow! It's beautiful! Oh my god! <laughs> oh god, thank you, Lord Jesus. So, um, after the initial tears of joy or pain, I can't tell which because there's a big hole in my wallet right now. <laughs> yeah, Joe, what? Tell him about it. Well, this is the uh, Phantom, and it's, you can see it's got these nice silver looking red ribbons that go on. The front, or I, I, I guess the front, the front, uh, the front propeller system, or the ledges, you want to call it, and there's a the symbol, and there it is in all its glory. It has, you got, you. This is a very serious drone, guys. If you're, you got to know what you're doing to fly one of these things. If you break it, that's five hundred dollars down the drain, unless you get a return warranty. Uh, just so you know, um, there's everything you need, and look at that, nice compact. Good quality. That is beautiful. So, a few warnings. You do have to take, if you're using this for commercial use, monetizing on YouTube, wedding videos, news videos, you have to take a pilot's test, which is $125 to $150, depending on where you take it, what state you're in. Taxes may vary. There's also a commercial use, which is not commercial, sorry, that was commercial use. There's also a personal use, which is not monetizing anything. You have to get the... Um, license for that as well or the sticker that they put on it for like 15 to 25 dollars depends and varies where you are what state what country so just keep that in mind um we're going to go take the pilot's test like right after this hopefully i pass it i've been studying a little bit not really because i just like to wing shit um <clears throat> sorry about that tooth fiddle i just did the tooth whistle <laughs> sorry about that so job here we go oh whoa that looks heavy holy shiite zoo if the Oh! Okay. Uh, sorry about that. My alarm went off. It still has the alarm thingy on. I had to clip it off. Holy, look at that thing. I am absolutely terrified. I cannot rip any of this because if you have to return it, you do have to keep it in the same quality it came in. Oh my god. Look at these buttons. I don't know if there's enough light, but I really don't care. Oh that my god. Look at her buttons. That is just... Yes. Wow. So here's the... Uh, Okay, I'm not going to touch that because I don't want to break it. Here is the antenna, thrusters for the motors, and then also this turns it. Then your uh, phone yes. clip onto that. Yeah, maybe. Phone clip, tablet clip, depending on what size of tablet you have. Uh, I'm going to have to use KK's, uh, KK's art system, by the way, her S5 because it has a better connection than my phone. Um, oh, these ones, you can like straddle it. You can straddle it left and right and keep it smooth like a baby's ass. Um, so, anyway, power button, I think this charges, it has a rechargeable battery, which kind of is, it upsets me a little bit because they die after a while and they stop working, much like phone batteries and stuff. Ugh, I know we're all antsy to see it, you're like, Josh, get on with it, well, I'm going to troll you for a little bit longer. <laughs> <coughs> don't look at this, <clears throat> sorry about that. Ew, this gum. I don't know what this is, probably the battery. Battery, yeah. Battery charger. It's like, we're, it's like we're unboxing like a high-end iPhone. You ever buy yeah. one of those, you have all these instruction manuals of paper? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's like you're unboxing, unboxing, unboxing. There's so many boxes. So that's the charger. This is an accessory. Whoa. What could that be? Unknown unboxing. What? It, you've seen these. What are they? I have no clue. I guess we got to find out. We'll get to that after we take everything out so we don't forget anything. Um... These are the propellers, I can already tell. They actually are heavy. They would have lasted outside. We're going to do this outside, but it's really windy. So, uh, can't wait to take this test. This damn gum is making my throat all kinds of fierce. I love it. It's all like, this is so Whoa. professionally. Holy shit, zoo. What the fuck? Cut that out, Joe. No, I'm kidding. Are they plastic? Um, they are plastic. They're heavy plastic, kind of. They're not that heavy, but like they're, you get eight of them, so you have spares. Yeah, that was good. I mean, damn. <laughs> Seriously, that's a lot. And I think there might be something else in here. I could be wrong. Maybe something on the bottom. Uh, maybe I hate when they do stuff like that. Like Moment of truth. I have a feeling it's going to be blank. 
Blank. Oh, cheap. I want my fucking money back. Yeah, who would dare leave stuff blank at the bottom of the box? Yeah, like for fuck. Well, guys, uh, this is all that really came with the package. Just the drone and... No, are you kidding me? Look at all this. Holy fucking me in the ass. Oh, my God. Like, <laughs> we <What>? thought that... <laughs> Wow. Oh, and this phone is not included. It came... It, it, it just came with a whole bunch. It came with stickers galore. Um, cyan, blood red, Job's favorite blue, orange, violet, and green. I think there's a few others I missed. It came in like an envelope looking thing yeah. with a whole bunch of manuals. The, the propeller removal clamp, so you need to remove your propellers. All your safety guides. All your um, FAA regulations that you need, manuals again, manuals, manuals, the charger. It came with eight propellers, but we got four of them unlocked. It came with this big freaking thing that Joe likes looking at. Did we already review this? I think we did. Um, yeah, but we not the motion, okay. but I tell you. So that too. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. A little 10 years. I guess they've been 10 years. 2006. Oh, I didn't know that. But yeah, motions basically you, you moves different motors with these buttons. Mm -hmm. Flip it around like a little security camera. And also, I forgot this one. Pink, Pink, if you're a girl, uh, or gay. Um, also, it came with an awesome baggie for your propellers and or anything else. I don't know where the battery is. I, I still think it's inside. So, Job, let's, uh, it came with, Job mentioned this. Job, tell me what that is on the, uh, the gimbal camera. That is a protection device that makes sure that you don't scratch your lens while it's being shipped, because we know that that's probably happened before, and DJI's probably learned their lesson and had to put one on. And that's the camera, right there, that little thingy. Camera shoots in 2.5K, 2.4K, depends on where you're from. 1080, 720 at 60 frames per second. The rest of them are at 30 frames per second. Um, I don't know where the battery is. I really don't. I haven't opened up everything yet with Job. I'm thinking the battery's in here. I don't know where the SD card goes either. Um, I don't know where all this stuff is because there's just so much. And it's really a lot to look at. But this camera, I'm telling you, it, it just... The camera alone, and the thing is heavy, it's like... Six, eight pounds on its own with everything else. It's 10.6. I believe it's what it said on my receipt. Don't quote me on that. Yes. So, Job, any final thoughts on this? Well, I like it. I really love the look. We opened it and we saw that and we opened it and then we saw all this. You've got the controller. You got the spare rotors, your real rotors. You know before you plot, fly. I don't know what plying is. DJI Care, your little baggie, your accessory box, your charger cords, your stickers, the envelope that came in it, the box, the box shipped in, the Phantom. It's so much. Like so much for four hundred seventy-five dollars on bnh.com. Uh, cheaper than retail. Retail stores are selling these for four ninety-nine with tax. It's like five twenty-five, five thirty-five, forty-five, depending on where you're at, and. Again, Job and I, before we fly us, are going to go take the flight test. So come on, Job, let's go. Let's go. So we've got the Phantom working after a long bit of time. Now, how to get it all working, how to go to test your, uh, how to fly and stuff. Well, what you're going to do is you're going to... First, you're going to be here. You're going to, well, let's, you're going to click open DJI Go. So you find your app, click that open. It's going to prompt this screen. And you can see you can, you usually can move through your, you can move through your models. And so, yeah, once you move through, find your model, the appropriate drone you have. Well, you click on it. And it'll be there find your correct exact model and then what you do is you hit these three little dashes on the top right of the screen you hit tutorial and it will prompt you to this screen phantom 3 standard enter so click enter and maximum flight distance reached they will give you a well they will give you the screen and here you go, uh, the Phantom. This is make sure, just for safety. You should take off your uh, the the rotor so it doesn't fly off. It, sh it shouldn't, but you never know. So you can't fly like I'm moving right now. The left analog up. You can't fly like that unless you have 
beginner's mode disabled even in tutorial mode which you can find in the menu so to fly on the left side of the screen you see that arrow pointing up click on that it'll flash blue when you click on it it'll say take off and sure it is safe to take off aircraft will rise to 3.9 feet and hover now it seems a little misleading like it will hover in real life but it won't it's just that's what it will say when you actually do it so you slide the screen slide the, the home screen. point has been updated take screen. off and it goes up without you even touching the analog and now you're free to fly so now we can move the rotors and it's simulating actual flight so I go up it goes up I go down it goes uh -huh. down I go forward it moves forward and I go back it goes back now I want to warn you this simulator it's very accurate and it's very fast this thing is pretty fast so if you want to lower it just do that now we can change you can click on multiple buttons change perspective and you can fly over anywhere you want this is just a simulator and that's how you turn left analog you move left or right and that's how you pan and to move forward push on the right now let's see if it can actually crash we're gonna hold this thing down and see if it actually has a protection function it does last second it'll do that now you have to click the takeoff button again slide it and the home point take off perspective it's on the bottom right you can also restart it shows you the wind if there is any if you want to add any so I'm guessing we can add maybe yes we can add we can add a little bit of wind by raising you click on the bottom where it says SPE ED up speed up you just raise it up so let's go to five 5.2 close now we have a little bit of wind going now with five mile an hour wind this doesn't change it at all so I guess the Phantom's pretty good at holding that up and you can fly around and uh, do whatever you need if you want to lower it go lower again panning with the left is how you do it the left controls how far up you can go how you can move down you go left or right that's how you pan moving with the right analog stick is actually how you move in directions and you fly to north east south or west how you actually move and it goes pretty fast so if you want so it's going about 25 miles an hour which maximum is flight distance reached with any uh trees around in a good open area or if you do doing it with trees make sure you know what you're doing to a very good extent even if you have a camera it can be misleading sometimes because you can't see the whole body you just see the camera so you never know what you're going to hit so to land we're going to click on the home button which is right below the arrow on the left as you see the arrow pointing down you're going to go to the curved arrow pointing to the h click that and return home you do the same thing slide to the right go home returning home now since we're doing a simulator some i think something is wrong in the simulator it won't take it home but it will land now it's actually going up okay no it is going home i thought i was going to do it it did the most much nope it's going up um make sure your device is calibrated properly at all times you don't want it to go up as it's i don't even know what it so it's going home it is landing okay so now it's landing after it almost took off in the air forever that's a flyaway. So, so make sure that when you ensure it does take. It does. Um, it is going down slow. In fact, I don't know why it's going down so slow. I guess it's because it's having to calibrate. Now, now I must warn you. Some models of the Phantom, if you don't have everything calibrated right, it will take off and fly. Well, fly away, and you will never see it again in the light of day. Uh, little snot nosed brat. So. Make sure when your parents buy you a Phantom, or you buy a Phantom, or you find a Phantom, uh, make sure it's calibrated, you know what you're doing. And it's taking a while to land. In fact, the home button I clicked is not even the place where it's landing, but that's okay. So, when you click on the home button in real, when you're flying your real drone, that beeping is... When you're flying your drone in... That's a problem, that is not where home is. When you're flying the real drone in real life, if you hit home and it happens to land on a neighbor's house, um, make sure it's calibrated properly to ensure that it's calibrated and it will not do what it just did.